One morning, when the sun had just begun to rise, Urema made a decision. She would leave the baby in a faraway bush where nobody would find her. With a heavy heart, she left the baby and walked away, never looking back. Once upon a time, in a small village called Awo, there lived a young girl named Urema. Urema was just 19 years old and she lived with her parents in a little house made of mud and thatch. Awo village sat next to Achi Kingdom, another village not too far away. Urema's parents worked hard, but they were very poor. They dreamed of sending Urema to the university so she could have a better life. Every day they toyed in the fields, hoping for a brighter future for their daughter. But one day, everything changed. Urema discovered she was pregnant. She was scared and didn't know what to do. She didn't tell her parents. Instead, she made up a story about going to work in Onicha until her university admission came true. Her parents believed her and wished her well. Little did they know their daughter was carrying a secret. Urema's boyfriend, the father of her baby, denied the pregnancy and left her alone. Urema was determined not to let the baby ruin her dreams. She vowed to go to the university no matter what. Instead of going to Onicha like she said, Urema traveled to Achi Kingdom, a village nearby. There, in the quiet of the night, she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Instead of joy, Urema felt anger and frustration. She saw the baby as a burden, a barrier to her dreams. One morning, when the sun had just begun to rise, Urema made a decision. She would leave the baby in a faraway bush where nobody would find her. With a heavy heart, she left the baby and walked away, never looking back. In Achi Kingdom, there lived a woman named Norma and her husband, Amandi. Their home was filled with warmth and love, but there was a yearning that lingered in their hearts. They longed for a child to call their own. Amandi, you see, was next in line to become the king of their village. And according to tradition, they needed a son to carry on the royal lineage. But despite their fervent prayers and hopes, the sound of little footsteps never echoed through their halls. One sunny day, which was that same day Urema dumped her baby in the bush. As Noma ventured into the large greenery of the nearby bush to gather firewood, she heard a faint cry, a baby's cry. With each step, the sound grew louder until she stumbled upon a sight that made her heart ache. There amidst the swaying grass and dappled sunlight lay a tiny basket cradling a precious bundle, a baby wrapped in a soft blanket, her cries piercing the tranquility of the forest. Noma's eyes widened in disbelief and sadness as she realized that someone had abandoned this innocent soul. Why would anyone leave such a precious gift? Norma whispered to herself, her heart heavy with empathy for the forsaken child. But Norma was not one to turn away from compassion. She knelt beside the basket, her hands trembling, as she gently lifted the baby into her embrace. The child cries, softened as if sensing the warmth of Norma's love. In that moment, Norma knew she couldn't leave the child alone in the wilderness, vulnerable to the whims of nature's wide embrace. And deep within her heart, a glimmer of hope sparked. A hope that perhaps this child was meant to fill the void that had long haunted their home. With the baby cradled in her arms, Norma made her way back to their humble bungalow, her thoughts swelling with uncertainty. How would Amandi react to her bringing home a stranger's child? Would he understand the depth of her compassion? As she entered their home, the scent of stew, 
simmering on the heart, greeted her, mingling with the warmth of familiarity. Amandi turned from the cooking pot, his eyes widening in surprise at the sight of Noma holding the bundle in her arms. Noma, what? What is this? He stammered, his voice filled with a mixture of curiosity and concern. Noma's heart raced as she explained how she had found the abandoned child in the forest, her words tumbling forth like a river flowing freely. I couldn't bear to leave her there, Amandi, she pleaded, her eyes brimming with tears. She needs us, just as much as we need her. For a moment, silence hung heavy in the air, the flickering fire casting shadows upon the walls. And then, to Norma's relief, Amandi's expression softened, a glimmer of understanding in his eyes. She may not be of our blood, but she is a child in need of love, he said softly, reaching out to caress the baby's cheek with gentle fingers. And so, in the glow of their hearts and the embrace of their love, Norma and Amandi welcomed the abandoned child into their hearts and home. They named her a daisy, meaning princess, for she was a precious jewel, a gift from heavens above. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, a daisy blossomed under Norma's tender care, her laughter filling the halls with joy. She became the light of their lives, a beacon of hope amidst the shadows of uncertainty. Three years had drifted by like wish bars in the wind, and Norma's heart swelled with a joy she had long awaited. Within the cozy walls of their bungalow, a new chapter of happiness unfolded, a chapter written in the laughter of children and the embrace of family. Norma's belly swelled with the promise of a new life, her every step a dance of anticipation as she awaited the arrival of their long-awaited bundle of joy. And as the months rolled by like gentle waves upon the shore, the household buzzed with excitement, a symphony of hope and love that filled the air. And then, on a day kissed by the golden rays of the sun, Norma's prayer were answered, a tiny cry, a song of life echoing through the halls in the tender embrace of dawn. She cradled her newborn son, his eyes sparkling with the promise of tomorrow. Happiness danced in every corner of Amandi's household, their hearts overflowing with gratitude for the precious gifts they had been blessed with. A daisy, now a radiant blossom of joy, welcomed her baby brother with open arms, her laughter mingling with his newborn cries like notes in a symphony of love. And so, amidst the gentle embrace of family, they embarked on a journey of love and discovery, their hearts intertwined like vines in a garden of dreams. Norma and Amandi watched their children grow, their days filled with the simple joys of laughter and play, their nights aglow with the warmth of shared dreams. Months turned into years, and as the sun dipped low on the horizon, casting shadows upon the land, Destiny beckoned once more, for Amandi, noble and true, was called to ascend the throne of Archie Kingdom, a beacon of hope amidst the tapestry of their lives. With a heart as vast as the sky, and a spirit as unyielding as the mountains, Amandi took his place as king, his crown a testament to the legacy of honor and compassion he carried within. And by his side stood Norma, his queen, her grace a reflection of the love that bound them together. As king and queen, they ruled with wisdom and kindness. Their reign a symphony of harmony and grace. From the bustling market to the tranquil meadows, their people rejoiced, knowing that their king and queen stood as guardians of peace and champions of justice. For Amandi, True to his word, was a king of the people, a beacon of light in the darkest of night, a guiding star that illuminated the path to a brighter tomorrow. And in the heart of Archie Kingdom, 
hope flourished like the flowers in spring for they knew that in their king they had found a leader worthy of their trust and admirations years passed like whispers in the wind swelling around urema like leaves in autumn in the bustling city of onicha where the streets hummed with the rhythm of life urema had carved a new path a path filled with love laughter and promise of tomorrow with the echoes of university days fading into memory urema found solace in the arms of her beloved a young man whose smile could melt even the coldest of hearts together they embarked on a journey of love and discovery their hearts intertwined like vines in a garden of dreams but amidst the laughter and joy amidst the tender embrace of love's sweet embrace a shadow lingered a shadow cast by the ghost of yesterday by the whispers of a past left untold as the years drifted by like sheep sailing into the horizon Urema found herself facing a new challenge, a challenge that tested every fabric of her being. For despite the warmth of her love and the laughter that filled their home, a seed of longing took root in Urema's heart, a longing for a child to call her own. But they tried as they could. The heavens remained silent, their prayers unanswered, their hopes dashed against the rocks of despair. And as the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, Urema's heart grew heavy with the weight of unfulfilled dreams. Her husband's family, too, watched with weary eyes, their whispers carrying on the wind like shadows in the night. They questioned and wondered, their voices tinged with concern, for in their eyes, the legacy of their lineage hung in the balance, a legacy bound by blood by tradition, by the echoes of generations past. And so, as the years drifted by, Rima's heart grew heavy with worry, her soul burdened by the weight of expectation. She questioned the heavens above, her voice trembling with uncertainty, as she pleaded for answers to the mysteries of her existence. Why me, dear God? She cried out in the darkness, her voice a whisper lost amidst the echoes of the night. Why must my path be filled with thorns? Why others tread upon petals of roses? But the heavens remained silent, their secrets shrouded in the clock of eternity. And as Urema's cries echoed into the void, she found herself adrift in a sea of uncertainty, her faith tested, her spirit weary. In the heart of Archie Kingdom, where the sun kissed the earth and the rivers whispered secrets of the old, Princess Adeze and Prince Ike embarked on a journey of knowledge and discovery. As the golden rays of dawn painted the sky with hues of pink and orange, Princess Adeze set foot on the path of higher learning, her heart brimming with anticipation and excitement. The halls of the university beckoned, their walls adorned with the echoes of wisdom passed down through generations. With each passing day, Princess Adeze delved deeper into the mysteries of medicine, her mind a tapestry of knowledge and compassion. And as the years drifted by like leaves on the wind, she stood on the cusp of greatness, her dreams within reach, her spirit soaring higher. Meanwhile, Prince Ike, her beloved brother, followed in her footsteps, his laughter echoing through the corridors of academia, with a heart as vast as the sky and a spirit as unyielding as the mountains. He embraced the challenges that lay before him, his eyes alight with the fire of ambition. And amidst the bustling streets of Archie Kingdom, King Amandi and Queen Noma watched with pride as their children flourished their hearts swelling with love and admiration for in their children they saw the promise of tomorrow the embodiment of hope and dreams fulfilled but it was not just within the walls of the palace that their love shone bright for you see dear friends 
King Amandi was a king of the people, a beacon of light in the darkest of nights, a guiding star that illuminated the path to a brighter tomorrow. Throughout the kingdom, which parts of his generosity echoed like melodies on the wind. From the humblest of villagers to the bustling markets of the city, his kindness knew no bounds. He bestowed scholarships upon the eager minds of tomorrow, lifting them from the depths of poverty to the height of possibility. And as the years drifted by, Princess Adese stood tall amidst the halls of academia, her heart filled with the knowledge that she had achieved her dreams. With each patient she healed, each life she touched, she knew that she was fulfilling her destiny, her purpose in life. And as she walked the halls of the hospital, her coat a symbol of hope and healing, her parents beamed with pride, their hearts overflowing with love. For in their daughter, they saw the embodiment of all that was good and noble a testament to the power of love and perseverance. In the bustling city of Onicha, where the streets burst with the rhythm of life, Urema's heart trembled beneath the weight of silence. For you see, dear friends, within the walls of our home, a storm raged, a storm born of longing and loss, of shattered dreams and unspoken truths. For many years, Urema had walked a path of fraught with uncertainty, her heart heavy with burden of unfulfilled promises. And as the whispers of time carried her deeper into the embrace of destiny, she found herself facing a new challenge, a challenge that tested the very fabric of her being. In the quiet corner of her heart, Rima's longing for a child had grown like a seed planted in fertile soil, a seed nourished by the gentle rains of hope, watered by the tears of unspoken prayers, but try as she might, the heavens remained silent, their answers lost amidst the echoes of the night. And as the days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, the tension in her husband's household grew like a gathering storm on the horizon. The whispers of his family members, laden with expectation and disappointment, weighed heavily upon Urema's shoulders, threatening to crush her spirit beneath their weight. They urged her husband to take another wife, to seek solace in the arms of another, in the hope of fulfilling the legacy of their lineage, a legacy bound by blood, by tradition, by the echoes of generation past. But for Urema, the thought of sharing her husband's love with another woman was a dagger to her heart, a wound that festered with each passing day. For she had built her life upon the foundation of love, upon the promise of a future intertwined with the one she held most dear. And so, as the shadows of doubt danced upon the walls of her home, Urema's heart grew heavy with sorrow, her spirit adrift in a sea of uncertainty. She questioned the heavens above, her voice trembling with anguish, as she pleaded for answers to the mysteries of her existence. But the heavens remained silent, their secrets locked away behind the veil of eternity. And so, as Urema stood at the crossroads of destiny, she knew that she could no longer bear the burden, that the weight of her unspoken truth threatened to consume her very being. With a heavy heart and tear streaked cheeks, Urema made a choice, a choice born of desperation of longing, of the need to find solace amidst the chaos of her unraveling world. She bid farewell to the home she had known, to the husband she had loved, and returned to the embrace of her parents in their village. A sanctuary amidst the storm, a heaven of peace amidst the turmoil of her shattered dreams. One sunny morning, as the golden rays of the sun kissed the earth, Princess Adeze's heart swelled with a beautiful idea, a plan to bring healing and joy to the hearts of her village and its neighbors, with a heart full of compassion and a spirit of generosity. She gathered her fellow medical practitioners to embark on a noble journey of charity and kindness. The plan was simple yet profound, 
to offer free medical care, checkups, and much needed medications to the elderly ones in her village of Achi and the neighboring communities. Princess Adese's eyes sparkled with determination as she envisioned the smiles that would light up wrinkled faces and the gratitude that would fill weary hearts. News of the upcoming charity work spread like wildfire through the village, igniting sparks of hopes and, ex and excitement in the hearts of all who heard. From the youngest child to the oldest elder, the anticipation hung in the air like the scent of rain before a summer storm. Urema's father, a gentle soul with a heart as big as the sky, caught wind of the noble endeavor and shared the news with Urema and her mother. With eyes shining bright with hope, he declared that they would be among the first to seek help from the visiting practitioners. Urema's heart swelled with gratitude as she thought of her mother, whose weary bones longed for the tender care of compassionate hands. She smiled at the thought of her village coming together, united in the spirit of love and community. As the days passed and the sun danced across the sky, the anticipation grew like a flower unfolding its petals to the warmth of the sun. The villagers eagerly counted down the days, their hearts brimming with excitement and gratitude for the kindness that awaited them. And so, as the village of Achi and the neighboring villagers eagerly awaited the arrival of Princess Adese and her team of medical practitioners, they prayed for blessings to rain down upon them all. For in the spirit of giving and compassion, they found the truest treasure of all, the gift of love shared among neighbors, the gift of healing that knows no bounds. And as the sun set on the horizon, Casting a golden shadow upon the land, the villagers closed their eyes in anticipation of the beautiful day that lay ahead. A day filled with hope, kindness, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. As the sun rose high in the sky, casting its warm embrace over the village of Awo, excitement burst in the air like bees gathering nectar from blooming flowers. It was the day that Princess Adeze and her team of medical practitioners arrived at the village health center, a day filled with hope, healing, and the promise of brighter tomorrow. In the heart of the health center, elderly men and women gathered, their faces lined with wrinkles, yet glowing with anticipations. Sick individuals seeking solace and relief from the air with a sense of urgency. Their eyes alight with hope as they awaited the arrival of their compassionate healers. Princess Adeze, radiant with kindness and grace, stood before the gathered crowd, her voice a soothing melody that calmed the restless hearts. With words of encouragement and a reassurance, she lifted their spirits high, like a kite soaring in the boundless sky. We are here for you, she spoke, her voice carrying the weight of sincerity and compassion. Together, we will walk the path of healing and restoration. You are not alone. Amidst the bustling energy of the health center, Princess Adeze and her team of medical practitioners set to work, their hand guided by the gentle touch of empathy and care. From one patient to the next, they offered comfort, relief, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. Elderly men and women, their faces etched with stories of a lifetime, found solace in the tender care of their healers. Sick individuals, burdened by the weight of illness, felt the gentle embrace of hope as they received the gift of healing. And amidst the sea of faces, seated among the crowd, was Urema and her elderly mother, a silent witness to the miracles unfolding before their very eyes. As Urema's gaze met Princess Adeze's, a spark of recognition ignited in the depths of her soul, a whisper of memory that lingered like a ghost from the past. In that moment of connection, Urema's heart stirred with a sense of familiarity, a sense that the princess before her held secrets untold. 
secrets that echoed the chambers of her own past. As the day wore on and the sun dipped low on the horizon, Urema found herself lost in a labyrinth of thoughts and emotions. The memory of the princess's striking resemblance to her younger self lingered like a shadow, casting doubt upon the foundation of her reality. Could it be possible? She wondered that the princess was indeed the daughter she had once abandoned in the depth of the forest. Could fate in its infinite wisdom have orchestrated a reunion so unexpected, so miraculous? With a heavy heart and a mind filled with uncertainty, Urema and her elderly mother made their way home, their thoughts consumed by the mysteries of the day. And as the stars painted the night sky with their twinkle light, Urema found herself grappling with the questions that defied easy answers. That night, Urema lay restless upon her bed, her mind a tempest of thoughts and emotions. The encounter with Princess Adesi, with her striking resemblance to a past long buried, lingered like a shadow in the corners of her consciousness. Unable to find solace in the arms of sleep, Urema heart weighed heavy with the burden of her secrets, the burden of a past made by mistakes and regrets. With tears streaming down her cheeks like raindrops on the window pane, she resolved to unburden her soul to seek forgiveness and redemption in the eyes of those she loved most dearly. With trembling hands and a voice thick with emotion, Urema sought out her parents, her heart heavy with the weight of confession. She poured out her soul, each word a tear-stained testament to the truth that had long been buried beneath layers of guilt and shame. Her parents listened with hearts open wide, their love a beacon of light in the darkness of her despair. With gentle words and tender caresses, they enveloped her in a cocoon of warmth and understanding. Their unwavering support, a balm to her wounded spirit. You should have told us, my child, her mother whispered, her voice a melody of sorrow and love. We would have walked through fire and storm to protect you. To guide you through the trials of life, your burden is ours to bear. And as the night wore on and the stars danced in the velvet sky, Rima's parents spoke of the importance of honesty and trust, the pillars upon which the foundation of family is built. They shared stories of their own journey, of triumphs and tribulations, of unbreakable bond that held them together through storms of life. With each word, Urema felt the weight of her burdens lift, replaced by a glimmer of hope, a hope born of forgiveness, of acceptance of the unwavering love that knows no bound. As the night surrendered to the gentle embrace of dawn, Urema and her parents found solace in the knowledge that no darkness is too deep, no mistake too grave to extinguish the light of love that shines bright within their hearts. As the first light of dawn painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, Urema's father gathered a handful of their family kinsmen, their faces etched with determination and resolve. Together, they embarked on a journey, a journey fraught with uncertainty, yet fraught by the unwavering bonds of love and kinship. Their destination, Lena stood amidst the rolling hills and verdant plains of Archie Kingdom, the majestic palace of King Amandi and Queen Norma, with hearts heavy with the weight of truth. They carried with them Urema and her parents, their footsteps guided by the echoes of destiny. Upon reaching the gates of the palace, they were welcomed with reverence and respect. Their presence a testament to the gravity of the matter at hand. And as they were ushered into the grandeur of the throne room, the air thick with anticipation, they knew that their journey had only just begun. With voices steady yet heavy with emotion, Urema's father and their family kinsmen recounted the tale of Urema's past, 
a tale of mistakes made and regret harbored or secrets buried and truth revealed the air grew tense with each passing moment the weight of their words hanging like a shroud over the gathered assembly king amandi and queen norma listened in stunned silence their brows furrowed with concern and disbelief the revelation of urema's past of her connection to the princess cast a shadow of uncertainty over the kingdom threatening to unravel the very fabric of their reality and then like a tempest unleashed from the depth of the storm princess adese stormed into the room her eyes ablaze with anger and confusion she demanded answers her voice trembling with emotion as she confronted the truth that lay before her is it true she cried her voice echoing off the walls of the palace are you saying that i am not truly your daughter urema's heart sank at the sight of the princess's anguish her own soul heavy with the weight of the past she tried to explain to offer words of comfort and reassurance but the princess's anger burned like a flame consuming the air with its intensity with tears streaming down her cheeks princess adeze declared that urema would never be her mother that no bond of blood would ever erase the pain of betrayal and with this she turned on her heel and stormed from the room leaving behind a trail of heartache and uncertainty in the wake of her departure king amandi spoke in a voice heavy with sorrow yet tempered with resolve he decided that they must seek the truth that they must unravel the tangled web of destiny that bound them all together that they have to undergo a dna test for them to know the truth and the next step to take Days turned into weeks, and the village of Awa buzzed with anticipation as the DNA test results drew near. Urema, her parents, and the kinsmen awaited the outcome with bated breath, their hearts heavy with hope and fear. On the appointed day, they returned to the palace of King Amandi and Queen Norma. The air thick with tension and uncertainty. Every corner of the palace seemed to hold its breath, breath, their hearts heavy with hope and fear. On the appointed day, they returned to the palace of King Amandi and Queen Norma. The air thick with tension and uncertainty. Every corner of the palace seemed to hold its breath as the announcement echoed through the grand halls. The resorts were in. And Princess Adeze was indeed Rema's biological daughter. But instead of relief, the news brought only more pain and heartache. Princess Adeze, her eyes brimming with tears of anger and betrayal, refused to accept Urema as her mother. Her heart hardened with the weight of her own sorrow. She vowed never to allow anyone to take her away from the parents who had loved and raised her since birth. Urema, her own tears flowing freely down from her cheeks, pleaded for her daughter's forgiveness, her voice trembling with the weight of her remorse, but the princess's heart remained close. Her pain too deep to be assuaged by mere waste. Days turned into nights. And still, Urema came to the palace gates her heart heavy with the burden of her daughter's rejection. She begged and pleaded, her voice a desperate plea for redemption and forgiveness. And then, one fateful day, the king and the queen called the princess and sat her down to talk to her, with gentle words and hearts heavy with sorrow. They spoke of the importance of forgiveness, of the healing power of love, your mother made a mistake, my dear, the queen whispered, her voice a soft melody of compassion. But she is still your mother, no matter what. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. 
The princess listened, her heart telling with the truth of their words. She realized that forgiveness was not just for Urema. It was for her own peace of mind, for the healing of her wounded soul. And so, with a heart heavy, yet filled with newfound understanding, Princess Adeze made her way to Urema's parents' humble abode. As they embraced, tears mingled with tears. Forgiveness washed over them like a gentle rain, cleansing their hearts of bitterness and pain. I forgive you, mother, the princess whispered, her voice choked with emotion. I may not be able to forget, but I choose to forgive, and I will always be here for you, for grandmother and grandfather. Urema's heart swelled with joy and gratitude as she held her daughter close. The weight of her past mistakes lifted by the power of love and forgiveness. And as they looked into each other's eyes, they knew that their bond was stronger than any hardship, any trial. And so, my dear friends, let us remember the lessons of forgiveness and love that echoed through the ages. For in the tapestry of life, woven with thread of joy and sorrow, of triumphs and trials, it is the bond of family that binds us together, guiding us through the labyrinth of life's journey and illuminating the path of redemption and renewal. And as the story of Urema and Princess Adeze comes to a close, let us hold fast to the knowledge that forgiveness is the key to healing and love is the greatest treasure of all. The most important lesson in this story is that children should always feel comfortable and safe talking to their parents about their troubles worries and concerns as parents are there to help and support them through difficult times and also we learn a very important lessons about love and bravery sometimes people make mistakes and feel scared because they had a baby without being married and they might think it is easier to leave the baby behind instead of facing the society however it is really important to remember that every child is special and has a bright future ahead. So it is brave and loving to keep and care for the child because you never know what amazing things they might do when they grow up. And every child deserves a chance to be loved and thrive in life, no matter what happened before they were born. Thank you so much for watching. Please kindly comment share like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more interesting videos